Hello everybody, I'm Anna and you can find me on annanida.com. I have lots to show you today. I have finished objects, works in progress, a new exciting project, but it's not a knitting or crocheting or anything project. And knit along news and yeah, much to talk about. So I would say let's jump right in. First of all, I want to show you my finished objects. My first finished object is a pair of socks and it's not surprising that it's a pair of opal yarn socks. <laughs> this pair of socks is made out of yarn from my opal subscription. As you know, I receive um, four shipments a year, six different colorways and some of them make it into a collection. I will show you in just a few minutes. Um, two colors that were in a subscription and are in my shop now and some of them will never make it into a collect collection. This colorway might be available for purchase sometime soon but definitely not this or next month because I already know what comes out. <laughs> um, so what Opal comes out with. This is a vanilla sock. Um, it's a very scrappy looking colorway and I think that is why p many people love this colorway. The only thing I changed was the following. There was... Okay, I will, t no, I will talk about the contrast color first. This is Himmelblau, sky blue. Here the first few rounds, the heel and the toe. And after the heel there would have been a similar light blue tone in the color repeat so I took it out of the yarn or out of the sock or however you want to say that and yeah I left it out so in the beginning <laughs> I used this contrasting color because I knew there was this light blue stripe in the color repeat but it was uh, unfortunately yeah, here is, I think here are two rows, yeah, here, here or two rounds. Um, and after the heel, that w it, it was the same color, but like such a stripe. And it wasn't looking good next to the heel, so I had to, um, yeah, cut it out. But it's not a problem. I think it's very pretty. Here's the second sock. I knit 60 stitches. Usually I need 64, but with Opal, it, in my opinion, for my shoe size 39 European, 60 stitches with Opal yarn is enough. It sits uh, snug and tightly. I enjoyed this sock, uh, this pair of socks very much. Now I have this much left, and I still have to. I have hair everywhere. <laughs> And I have still to knit my tiny ornament sweaters because that is my my pattern I chose for the pattern battle in the Opal subscription group uh, on Rivalry. So I still haven't entered in this knit along yet and I think I have time until the end of March. So that should be plenty of time for a little ornament sweater. Yeah. That is my first finished object. And it's a pair for me. <laughs> I enjoyed this vanilla sock very much. So, uh, you know I like to knit pattern socks, but there is something about stockinette that is so soothing and... I don't know. I enjoy it very much. The second finished object was, I think, a finished object last episode as well, but now it is really complete because I added the border for my square for the memories blanket. This is the blue one. Today is February 17th. Today is Friday. And I haven't even started my Valentine's block yet. <laughs> I think two weeks ago I said in the group on Telegram, oh yeah, I'm about to start my, my rose and pink block today. And then I didn't. Uh, so hey, I definitely, I definitely have to start. You know, this five squares a week and so on. <laughs> uh, yeah, these were my finished objects. Uh, now we come to the German word of the day. 
The German word of the day is uh, a Christian word. Um, it is Nächstenliebe, Latin Caritas, or in English charity. I think the English word is charity because it's from the Latin word Caritas. Um, Nächstenliebe is what Jesus taught us. You know, you have to love yourself and you have to love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. So loving your neighbor. Why is Nächstenliebe, loving your neighbor, charity, the today's word of uh, the German word of the day? Because that leads us to the exciting um, project I ha I'm about to start or found. I found a group. I'm founding a group. I would like to knit for other people that are in pain or in need and sorrows and I want to give them a little bit of comfort. Um, I found something that is called the prayer shawl ministry and I want to start something similar but not limited to shawls. Um, in my opinion it, you could knit everything like a shawl, a scarf, a hat, a pair of socks, a blanket, a lap blanket, a wrap, um, all the different things that could bring someone who suffers a little bit comfort. And I like the idea about the prayer shawl ministry because there is prayer involved. It's not only knitting, producing for people in need, it's also connected to prayer. Uh, so you give not only a handmade item, but a blessed and prayerful item. And I talked about that idea with a priest I know for very long and he said it's a great idea and I asked him if he could imagine to bless all the items I give him and give them the people he is caring for and pastoral care and he said he would love to do that. So now I started, I will show you the work in progress uh, soon, I started my first, yeah, my first uh, charity item for my group that is about to start <laughs> and I invite you all if you want to knit or crochet along with me and if you are willing to ship it to Germany so I can give it over to the priest and he is giving it to the people he is guiding and um, supporting through hard and difficult times. Uh, you are very welcome and as I said you can knit or crochet pretty much everything but I think imagine it's the easiest way. Imagine you are in a very hard time. You lost a loved one or you have a diagnosis that is devastating. You received a diagnosis that is devastating or you have depression or something. And now imagine someone gives you something handmade. What would give you most comfort? And while we work on that, I would invite you to pray for the person who will receive it, maybe during the process or only before you start knitting and after you finished knitting for that day or that period of time. And I'm already about to collect some prayer ideas for the crafter and for the recipient and I want to make some gift cards uh, for some notes and that the recipient knows who made it and that the person was praying um, for, the, for the recipient and all, all that. As soon as I have a name for the group <laughs> I will put it onto my website and I give you much more information but if you already want to start to craft something and that you would like to ship to Germany you are very welcome to do so. And that brings us to or leads us to my works in progress because I started a project for that matter already. Um, I felt the urge for weeks already. I wanted to crochet something and for, for, for whatever reason I didn't want to crochet on my blanket. So I thought, okay, that's a great excuse <laughs> to start this granny stripe triangle shawl. First of all, I'm using a four millimeter hook. It's a cheap one from Amazon, Fusion it's called. I am using six ply opal so that means sport weight sock yarn sock and sweater yarn actually and i made my water bottle cozy out of this yarn and here is 
what I've done so far. I think I'm started three days ago. It's a simple triangle. Oh, that will be very pretty. <laughs> uh, I made one out of DK weight yarn in the past for a friend alre already years ago. Maybe I can insert a photo here or here. And it was so enjoyable and um, I am not so much about metaphorical images and I don't want to interpret too much into something. But when I was researching the prayer shawl thing, I was I, I read about ladies who decided to knit patterns with a multiple of three because of the Holy Trinity. And so they for every stitch of the three stitches, they said Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for example. So for the first stitch, Father, second stitch, Son, and then Holy Sp Spirit for the third stitch. And I thought that is so neat. I, I like that very much. And the granny stitch is made out of three triples or double crochets. So it's very fitting. And I'm praying the Jesus prayer usually when I'm working on this. Sometimes even while I, I watch something or while I talk with someone because I'm practicing the Jesus prayer for several years now and it, it is... I don't say I, I do it with every breath. That is my goal. <laughs> but um, it's it starts automatically. When I um, remember that I want to pray it, I can I can do it while I talk or while I read or while I watch something. That is amazing. And sometimes I only sit down and work on it and think about the person, I don't know who will receive it, but I think about the person, what her troubles could be and how this could be a comfort for her or for him. And... So this is at the moment my absolute favorite project because of that reason. There is... Okay, because I have my goals, my daily dedication for this year and my shop, so I'm designing patterns and so on, I don't... or I'm, I don't allow myself every day to pick the project I enjoy the most or I... that that speaks to me the most at the moment because sometimes I have to finish that something. For example, oh no, you had you said you want to crochet on your blanket every day or you want to this every day or no, you have to work on that for the pattern release. And I couldn't set these things aside for something for me. Not even for Christmas present or so. I don't know, because it's a task of mine. But with this charity project, <laughs> it feels very freeing is that a word because i think okay god can't be against that <laughs> it can't be a sin or it can't be a problem to do that instead of working on a, another project that is lingering around for a month already <laughs> i don't know if you can relate to that but yeah i really gravitate to this project uh, at the moment and i didn't have i didn't have so much time otherwise i would have achieved more to that point because I was working a lot but I think I could finish it this weekend yeah there is only one thing that could get into my get in the way and that is Hogwarts Legacy because <laughs> I received it for Valentine's Day and have not started it yet so we will see how that goes but I'm enjoying this project very very much because of other reasons I spoke about. Mm, the following work in progress is a sock. It's also for someone else. It's actually a Christmas present and I was working on it while I um, was away with Tommy for a night and here is the yarn. That, that's an example for a colorway out of a subscription that made it into a collection. This is out of the collection Sweet Kiss. I had this in my shop, it's sold out already, but maybe you find it somewhere else. And the first sock is already done and I love it. And it's a Christmas present, as I said. 
So here is <laughs> the first sock. Uh, the contrasting color is pink by Opal. It's in my shop, this pink. And I think it matches the pink in the sock as well. It's a 64 stitches sock and vanilla. Two and a half millimeter needles. I use my sock knitting table so I know it will fit the recipient. So much fun. And here is the second one with a progress keeper by three by the sea designs wait yeah and i still have to knit a little bit before i can start the toe uh the heel my i i was going to say the heel but this took the back seat when I started the shawl. It's because I enjoy it so much. Oh, here's the pink. As I said, this is in my shop. The green color is not in my shop. Oh, the next work in progress <laughs> is... All, all my works in progress are opal yarn. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, here is a pillow cover. I started. It is the same stitch as my highlighter socks I showed you last time, but I make it into a pillowcase and it's... Oh, okay, first of all here. It's difficult to show because it's not um, closed yet. And here is the stitch. I'm holding the yarn double and so I'm using pure white and the first color I, uh, I will use, I calculated, if I calculated correctly, I have to use three balls of fingering white yarn for the color part. And the first color is this one. And this was in my shop last year. It's from the Beauty Collection. The Beauty Collection comes out every year only once. And you see in the background the current Beauty Collection. I will show you later. The beauty collection is not only a colorway collection as every Opal colorways. It is a different yarn base. So it has the same characteristics in general and it's the same yardage and everything. But it is extremely soft. It is soft as um, merino. But it's not merino. It's as sturdy as the normal Opal yarn. And I think what the softness comes from the Encian, that the extract of Encian that is in that yarn. And they added, I don't know how they did this, vitamin E. And I thought it was just a joke or marketing, a marketing trap or something. But when I started to knit with this yarn, my hands, especially my fingers, became so soft like after using a lotion or hand balm but without the stickiness and moisture you only have this very soft and nice feeling on your hands and i can imagine wearing these for your sh for your uh, as, as socks for example or as, ha as a hat or so this must be amazing. <laughs> I definitely have to knit a pair of socks as well. And this will be a pillow, so it will be right next to my skin, right, right next to my face. And I'm looking forward to that very much. But I chose um, two different colors to come next, but I will show you the next colors when I finished the first ball. And I'm holding them double, so... I'm using only one ball, but I separate, separated the ball and then made it into a DK cake. Yeah, and the, and the same I did with the white. The next <laughs> work in progress is also Opal Subscription Yarn, but that made it into the current beauty collection. So this is not the beauty base, 
but the colorway it's here oh it's so soft and this was the subscription and I'm working on a pattern for you for the shop and it's very much fun but then I wanted to knit a vanilla sock and so <laughs> I ignored this for a while and this stitch marker is from th uh, no progress keeper I only use progress keepers just for fun I like them is from three by the C designs as well I love their products Yeah, and it's the first sock and I think it will be a pattern you and will enjoy very much because it's easy and because of the garter stitch in the pattern it's so squishy. <laughs> yeah, it's very soft and Im when I imagine you knit this with the beauty collection so with the same or other colors oh gosh that will your hands will be so soft and your feet as well and as contrast I will use a natural white from opal 2 which is also in my shop and the last work in progress is <laughs> a sock out of opal yarn <laughs> I only did the first few uh, rounds because I didn't took it with me to our trip. Um, it's the Opal Dreams collection that was never in my shop because it's an older collection but I think a similar or this colorway was in in a subscription years ago so and, and made it to, into a collection that is the start because I wanted to work on my Valentine's socks um, and here is the ball. Oh I love this. I, if I find the picture I knit another sock, pair of socks out of the same collection so this will stripe in the same way. It's so pretty but not much to show. 60 stitches, two and a half millimeter needles and it will be a vanilla sock because I enjoy it so much. And now that I talked so much about the collection I want to show you Opal was so nice or not Opal. Um, the wholesaler, wholesaler, wholesaler <laughs> was so nice to add knitted samples with my last order of the collection and I think this is my favorite color out of the beauty collection and it is so soft. I haven't tried it on yet. They could fit me, they could fit me. They are machine knit and that is so pretty that's a knit to pearl to leg and then here you see how it looks in stockinette and it's this ball and you can get it on my website because I left Etsy or uh, I am still on Etsy but most of my products aren't on Etsy anymore. I put them all onto my website because because Etsy became too too expensive to stay there. I would have I had the, I had to I had two options. Um rising or raising the prices for you or leaving Etsy. Yeah, because I don't have all these fees on my website. And here is another color that I like very much. And I like the beauty collection very much because they have all these blocked stripes interrupted by this Fair Isle pattern. And that makes it perfect for pattern socks if you want to knit patterns that are a little subtle, like the Hermione's Everyday or so. And here, okay, these three I showed you. Oh, maybe you remember this. I knit a pair of socks, I can insert here, out of my subscription as well. And now it's available on this lovely beauty collection base. And here are two very great um, husband colors. <laughs> 
I like this one very much. Here you see how they knit up. And they are so soft. <laughs> Already in the bowl, it's very soft. And I still have the country collection. I wasn't able to show you here on YouTube, but it's um, it was the collection before that. I have some colorways left of the country collection. And what I like about the country collection is that they are similar to the beauty collection. Opal doesn't always do this. They are dyed all in the same way. They look, um, they are speckled, I would say. Here is the, the gray example. And that would make a great bigger project combined because they are all in these speckles and that would make an amazing blanket. I thought I would keep one skein of every color and make a pretty granny uh, square blanket out of this. So these are the colors that are left. And they look amazing together. The other colors, there was a light blue and a pink. They are sold out already. And if you are not on my newsletter list yet, I would encourage you to subscribe. Go on my website. It's, li it's li the light blue button that says newsletter. Because I always tell my newsletter subscribers... Um, 24 hours earlier than everyone else that I have a shop update and what will be in the shop update and often I can't I, I try to make a video on here on YouTube every two weeks so you don't get the information soon enough when I upload or update my shop so if you don't want to miss something that could be an option for you and you get my sock knitting table for free when you subscribe to the newsletter oh and and i don't know if you see that it in the background here maybe a little bit i have all opal unicolors in my shop now i will insert the photo here so you will find the perfect color for heels and toes and so on for every sock yarn or for every colorway and it's not only sock yarn, it's called, the opal yarn is called sock and sweater or pullover yarn. So many women make stunning pullovers out of opal yarn. And the great thing about this yarn is you can wash it in the washing machine. It won't felt, it won't shrink, it won't pill. It's just perfect. It's so easy to care for and it's, it's soft enough in my opinion. Um, yeah, and Anna's Knit Club. Knit Along Talk. Anna's Knit Club is in the second prompt of this year already. It's February, that means we all knit in the traditional Valentine's Day colors. So pink, red, cream, peach, white, all these shades of all these pretty girly colors. And as always, just share your project on Instagram with the hashtag Anna's Knit Club and you are able to win a prize. And I'm pretty sure this time it's a few uh, balls of opal yarn and if you want to chat with us and hang out with us you are very welcome in our chat group on telegram the link is in the description box below i have it's not it's not a big chat where everything is going wild we have different threads so you can uh, decide what you are interested in one thread is only about the monthly prompt or for example or the other prompt uh, the other threads are about other interests or about uh, I have one thread for fun polls where we get to know each other better through polls that is very much fun and yeah so that means you don't get overwhelmed by a big chat where hundreds of people <laughs> post something and after work you have 500 unread messages or so no it's very organized and, and very nice place to be and it's a politic free zone and child friendly so it's really about being nice and knit and crochet and other crafts and chatting and without any ideology or without any discussions about 
any politics or so and that's why I founded this group um, because I think there is a need for that in the community of knitters and crocheters because everywhere else you find politics and I all, all what I want is talking about yarn <laughs> yeah uh, oh yeah and the last information that could be interesting for you on my website all my patterns are 30% off so maybe you want to have a look and now I would say I leave it there <laughs> I'm wishing you lovely weeks of knitting and crocheting and squishing and hugging your yarn um, I'm ho I hope I read from you in the comments down below I like to chat with you and it would be even more special if I find you in our telegram group you are very welcome there and I'm looking forward to the next time when we speak happy knitting and bye bye <laughs>